been having a great morning. All right, so we are back. We will be starting Assassin's Creed 3 today. Um, we watched the trailer a few days ago when we beat Revelations, and uh, it was pretty dope. And uh, a lot of people have been telling me this is the best Assassin's Creed game. Some people are saying it's the worst Assassin's Creed game. Um, but when I tell you we watched that trailer and it looked super awesome. Um, so yeah, we're going to sit back and we're going to jump in and uh, see what AC3 has to offer. Right, let me get this up here. And we're going right into it. All right, so <clears throat> obviously here it says play the story and then there's this thing called play... The Tyranny of King Washington DLC. I have no idea what that is. We'll check that out afterwards. Um, but we'll jump in and uh, start a new game. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe, some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. There it is. here. They changed how Desmond looks again. Let's go.
So we're setting up in a, in a cave. This is what we're down. This is what we're doing now. Yeah, he was in a in a coma. Yeah, true. It's so dark. He's not as talkative as he usually is. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. What, is Desmond a mute now? Man literally hasn't spoken a word since the game started. Shirley, how you doing? Maybe from the coma? He's a wise man now. I think we're here. There it is. Finally, he said something. I was, I was starting to feel uncomfortable. Yo, the animations are super smooth looking. Yeah, I'm on the remaster. The key. You must find the key. Son? Sir? Here we go again. Desmond? Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. Just no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Okay, Desmond. While you were, uh... 
visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. It's pretty damn smooth. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. So the animations are pretty dope. Yo, Desmond's climbing skills have been Free improved, baby. Through this little obstacle course. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond. Follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. All you have to do here is jump the gap. Yeah, the parkour is pretty smooth in this game. Um, yeah, that seems really far, dude. Oh, Desmond got hops. So why is he jumping over it like that? First of all, it looks super cool, the animation, but why is he doing it? <laughs> I got all the DLC. I just came with it. The remaster came with all the DLC. There we go. Okay, yeah, so you got to separate it. Yeah, the movement. I got to say, guys, the movement in this game so far is it's leagues above the others for sure. It's very, very smooth. And the animations are dope. Synchronization levels look good now. You should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Why did they put him in weird clothes? They dressed Desmond up all funny. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Yo, this time period is so dope. Ladies and gentlemen, you are requested to kindly find your seats.
Good evening, sir. This way, please. Uh, my apologies. Yeah, our robes aren't. They don't look anything like they did in the trailer. Maybe we get our robes Evening, later. Evening, Hatham. Later. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. On to business then. Do you see him? He's seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. You'll need to find another way up. I already have. A thousand pardons. Uh, my apologies. So dark, so so dark. Let me uh hit a tab up on that brightness real quick. Bush, what's going on? How you doing? All right, it's a little better. Damn, bro, watch this show. Oh, she said no. <laughs> He's like, did what? Oh, no, she didn't, dude. <laughs> How's she going to push him away and then just aggressively pull him back in like that? This dude is a straight beast, man. Who climb it? Like, how can no, no one see us, though? So it doesn't seem like I have any weapons or anything, so we just gotta be careful. Ooh, picking locks now? Okay. Okay. Yo, I like that. That that's pretty cool.
hate them. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Yes. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Yeah. Jim, thank you for the sub. Yo, he hit him with the... Was, was that his son? Oh, it scared the but shit out of me. I, I've done no wrong. I, I swear it. Any weapons? I beg your pardon. Did they fire? Did you push it? Please, please, please. Let us through. Order. order. We must have order. order. Sir, try to remember. That's an opera. Be careful. I can't get out of here fast enough. It happened we right in that balcony. What are those There's men doing in there? I'm staying where it's safe. We must have order. Guys, hey. that was a pretty smooth assassination, really. Where are you going? I'll search along here. Are you you search down there. Too Very well. If you find anyone, give a shout. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. Shall we be off then? Aye. To Fleet and Bride. By your command. Fascinating. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It Dirty, could contain so much certain for the knowledge. Perhaps a weapon or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma. Sansi, thank curses. you for the sub. But of one thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is? Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the store, America! and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command, although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced, We've booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. So did the Brotherhood fall apart again after Ezio? 
Cyberboom, what's going on? How you doing? Or may well, maybe the, the Brotherhood just isn't that strong in Americas yet. So this is like the beginning of America. Atlantic Ocean, day two. It's a nice looking ship. Yeah, you could see the like assassin symbol Fresh there on his arm. That's where his blade must be. Be right there. Shank Shank got the blade. So that ship life has to be kind of uh dull, right? Oh, we could we could play some dice. Oh, let me play dice. I see the dice table, but it doesn't allow me to actually play. Maybe here? Oh shit, what the hell is this? This isn't dice. Was this like advanced checkers? How the fuck did he do that? Playing all of the AC games, yep. Oh. Okay, well, I guess that happened. So I still don't legitimately know what actually allows you to get like multiple movements. Javier, what's up, brother?
team. Now he's gonna be able to take my piece. Yep. See, I don't, I don't understand how that works. Oh, move it back. I oh, got you. And you get to take the one in the same line. But I, I'll take it you have to be within a certain range because now he's going to be able to take mine. Yeah, so you have to be within a certain range, I believe. And he has the advantage here. I got one piece left. See, is it only... Oh, uh, can I only take on the red line? Yep, there goes my piece. It is what it is. I lost. Whatever, dude. All right, let's see what's going on in this ship. To you as well. A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. A moment to talk? Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No, no. we didn't hear nothing about what it, happened? dude. They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. Oh, I'll be trying again later on. Yeah, I don't want to waste too much time playing that right now. I want, to, I want to dig into the game a little bit. I'm pretty sure we'll have more opportunities to play. So, oh, they have it broken. I think they have all the supplies broken down by, like, by city. Like, this is all the stuff going to Boston, Cambridge, Waterbury, Stamford, Lewiston, Hartford, New York. So this ship is going to be traveling all over the place. Hey, George, thank you so much for the sub, brother. I appreciate it. All right, let's head up top. Captain? Mr. Kenway. I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Who's extra salty, man? A cyber, I appreciate that, brother. Hello, sir. Do you expect we'll have a pleasant crossing? 
It is a quiet time of year, though rogue storms in troubled waters are not unheard of. But no need to fret. At worst, they'll prove an inconvenience. I'm more concerned about pirates and rogue privateers. Have you encountered them before? Aye. But the Providence is a strong ship, and her crew well trained. They will surely keep us safe. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender Parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Bro. That's enough, Graves. Stay out of this. So I'm holding it. But it's not like counterattacking. Oh, before the indicator. Okay. Got it. Swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees to us. To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mills. Who side you on anyway? Ooh. There it is. We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Yeah! Do you yield? Never! <laughs> How do you like these odds? Okay. Give me that shit, dude. What's the meaning of this? Captain, explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this dude's a badass. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, 
I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Yo, Brandon, thank you so much for the sub. He's a savage. Good day. I didn't expect him to be so savage about it. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's cut our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine whilst we're stuck not with tin fish and yeah. biscuits. Twenty brother, did you hear about the sailor that was turned into a pumpkin pie? He's now a squash pumpkin pie. What if it goes wrong? Swanny brother, thank you so much for the super chat, man. I appreciate it, dude. Longer we wait, the longer we go without. Yeah, they're definitely complaining about food and shit right now. You looking for another fight? Is that it? Go away. Really, man? I wonder if she doesn't feel good. So this kid was relatively Quite cool. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads to both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. Damn, not even gonna shake on it, Haytham? So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. I got nothing to say to you. Yeah, so none of them really want to talk to me except that, uh, Mills here. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Welcome to the family, son. Christian, with the re to brother, with the five months. Thank you so much. Um, they're doing The Last of Us TV series. Yeah, yeah, so I've heard about it. Definitely heard about the TV series. Uh, I'm excited to see how it comes out. But Chris, thank you so much. Uh, doctor, if you have a moment. Have you taken ill? Oh, nothing like that. I was wondering if you'd heard any rumblings of trouble aboard. What sort of trouble? Unusual complaints or grievances. Men taking issue with the captain you or the You sound just like James. Like I told him, I've been much too busy with my research to notice anything not work-related. And where might I find James? The galley's your best bet. Now, if you'll excuse me. Everybody's pretty short with, uh... 
with Haytham here. Hey, Grant Walker, I'm glad you're enjoying it, brother. Thank you so much for uh, finding time to pop in, man. Are you James? Hi. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. You hate them super proper. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Yeah, it doesn't seem good. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? The hell? Seems like there's a dialogue option in here. I want to go check it out real quick. I do like these little, uh, like, dialogues. Being able to go around you must expose talk. whatever they're plotting. Your crew is a tight-lipped bunch, but I'll see what I can do. Well, hurry up! This dude's an asshole, man. He's a shifty fella. Won't hardly take his hat. Quiet! Here he comes. Make like you're working. Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. So it's the same one. Wasn't by choice. Why would they pop up another dialogue blip if I already talked to him? He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. We're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Hmm. Curious. Hmm. Most curious. They leaving a trail? Either they're leaving a trail or they're <clears throat> sneaking supplies off the ship for somebody else to come and pick up. Any news? Each night's the same. I scout Thank one you for area, the sub. I appreciate it. Painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! 
Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin, or do I need to have you escorted? Oh, who the hell are you talking to, bro? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? It was Lewis the Templar? Yo, it's so hard to get away from like Templars and shit. Like they, they're everywhere, dude. Ooh, okay. Oh, get up, bro. Get up. <laughs> Don't let it happen to you, dude. That was sick. So I can't even get a kill hit on him when I parry. Yo, the, the Deep Matrix brother with the super chat, man. You're gonna be. Uh, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Yo, the the, the combat in this one though is like the like, especially in this boss fight, it's so much better. Um, I don't feel like Ezio was super OP. That felt pretty balanced. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. Then I will. All right. All right. your sail for you.
You take the foremast! James! To the main I mast with you! So sketch, dude. You fall into the water, then you're done. That's it. What's going on? How you doing? That's bad. Hero, dude. Oh, 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 thank you, thank you. Seems like the other ship's having a hard time. Oh, it's sunk. They lost both their masts. Seventy-two days. Could you imagine that being on? 72 days. What's up, Cap? Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Pretty damn high. <laughs> Airborne, that's a long time, man. When I was on the Mew, we were only at so oh, man, look at that. America, baby, we made it. Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, ma'am. Limited Thank block. You. Thank Charles you so much for the sub, brother. Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags Charles to be delivered Lee. to the inn. Why does that name sound familiar? Are you by any chance, John? Hold on, hold on, hold on one sec, guys. Bro, don't talk to my boy like that. Fuck off, bitch. One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might 
Well, at least until he arrives. I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve Hello, the order, sir. I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Charles Lee wants to be an assassin, bro. I got you. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, Mommy, sir. Help. This way. Thief! Someone stop him! Come here, boy! Boston's quite a lively city. Okay, well, we lost. We, we tried. We tried. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under Hello, you. Hello, sir. If I am to serve the order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. So is Haytham like the new, Please. like, he can't be, no, no, because because he said that he was serving some other dude, so he can't be like the, the head. I wonder who the master uh, of the assassins is now after Ezio's gone. Well, you know, they got the red coats. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Yo, know, the landscape is Hold beautiful. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. Wow, yeah, they added a lot more, like, immersion to the world, for sure. <laughs> They're fucking dog, dude. This accursed city Benjamin will be the Franklin? You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. The man's on the $100 must bill. Must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. So we gotta, what, find four pages? What's this? Needs, come to Captain Hornbills. Whether a fleet or a weekend angler, he's got 
everything to make them jump out the water. Good day, sir. Yeah, come in. Okay, so we can buy and sell stuff. Firearms, what? For real? Oh, <gasps> we could just buy a gun? Okay, so we're in the era of just being able to purchase guns. I actually have enough money to buy that. Um, normal weapons, so... Hmm. Do I have a sword? Period. Let me let me check. Because we did get a sword on the ship. I don't know if I still have... Nah, yeah, we don't, so we don't have a sword. Oh, I could buy... It says to buy both. So I have enough money to buy both. I, I, I didn't read the quest. My bad. Hey, Diamondback. Thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. So we'll buy the normal sword. And we will buy a pistol. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, so you just get a straight up gun now. I believe the only gun Ezio had was the, uh, the hidden blade gun. And he had a crossbow and stuff like that too, so... Okay, so we got our weapon wheel here. We got unarmed, hidden blade, normal sword. And over here, flintlock pistol. Use those, select the sword. Awesome, so now we're, we're equipped. I don't understand why we didn't bring this stuff over from London, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like we should have been had it. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not pry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No, Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Hi. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir. Yeah, we're gonna they're gonna we're building up the assassins pretty big already just moving right over to freaking America and building it up hey Nico thank you so much for the sub brother Robert and uh Sergey think I really appreciate it guys Lion, cheating, no good, son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. Uh, of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Privacy. So are we setting this, this up way. as like our our headquarters or whatever? So it says there's new weapons available in the store, a couple new swords, and some smoke bombs. Sir, William Johnson. Is he a British soldier? A no. Pleasure. I seen the red. I thought it was a, a British soldier. If a bit earnest.
I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. I wonder when we get our robes. I mean, I don't mind this outfit. It's just the hat's a little silly. I wish he, like, would just put his hood up. You know what I mean? Like, have a hood. But in the in the trailer, we had, like, white robes. It looked like. Hold on, let me see. So, so chat option here. Tell me about yourself, William. What's to tell? I was born in Ireland to Catholic parents, which I learned early in life severely limited my opportunities. So I converted to Protestantism and journeyed here at the behest of my uncle. But I fear my uncle Peter was not the swiftest of men. He sought to open trade with the Kanyan Gahaga, but chose to build his settlement away from the trade routes instead of on them. I tried to reason with the man, but... <sighs> as I said, not the swiftest. So, I took what little money I'd earned and bought my own little plot of land. I built a home, a farm, a store, and a mill. Humble beginnings, but well situated, which made all the difference. So this is how you came to know the Mohawk? Indeed. And it has proved a valuable relationship. With still no mention from your contacts of the Precursor site? No hidden temple or ancient constructs? Yes and no. Which is to say, they have their fair share of sacred sites. Earthen moons, forest clearings, hidden caves. But nothing matching what you describe. No strange metals. No odd glows. Hmm. It is well hidden. Even to them, it seems. But cheer up, my friend. You'll have your precursor treasure. I swear it. To our success, then. And soon. Sounds good. All right, Mr. Charles Lee. It might be like, because you know when you start playing uh, AC2, it took Ezio a little while to get his robes and stuff like that. Before you like fully fo like fledge become an assassin. Where the hell are we now? Okay, so it seems like we're on the outskirts of the city. So there's a band- they said there's a bunch of bandits set up over here somewhere? Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. So, yo, so it seems like guns are definitely more of a thing. Okay, so I, it doesn't let me, like, aim. It, it right here. I think it's because it's like a scripted event. Get into position, but wait for me to take the first shot. I wonder if there's other guns too outside of the flintlock pistol. I see guys using the the rifles. Okay. 
Area's clear. Go on now, or you make us mad. Oh yes, so, yo, I can grab the rifles right there. Go on now, or you make us mad. Yo, you can just use rifles. You two, clear off. You two, clear off. <laughs> Oh, yo, he like legit reloads it too. Hmm. I don't even know if I have to kill these guys. I think I could probably just move around them. Or should we clear out everybody? So it just says to reach the courtyard. I could probably do that relatively easily, but. So much for the element of surprise. Real oh, you can use the fucking rifle as a weapon with the bayonet. Ah! Oh, shit. Reload. I don't want to die. Fall back. Fall back. We'll be safe inside. What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. I have it on my rifle. No, I want the rifle back, dude. <laughs> On with the show, then. Um, we could maybe go look for another rifle rack. I don't mind the pistol. Yo. The rifle was dope, though. I could you can use it as like a melee weapon and as a ranged weapon. Uh, I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Got a couple of them right here. Guess they wasn't so safe inside after all. Yeah, look at all these rifles, man. Save your looting for after we found Johnson's research. Yes, master. Okay, here we go. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. Perform a reflex shot when you're close to an enemy. Trying to figure out how do you just lock on? Okay, what's up? Yo, these yo, Thomas Hickey is a beast. Your kind is no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters, but they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. 
Afem. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. <laughs> on account of my pistol being parched. Shame so many have to die. Back to the green dragon then. I need a drink. I, I like I like I like how they put that. On the account of my pistol being parched. It's foisty. Gatsby, how you liking this one so far? Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rebel. Stop them, Thomas! Miss. <laughs> Look at that! You wrecked, dude. Wait, them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the sport? So I got to figure out how to do the lock proper. Badges running around all he just I just thought he said look at those badges I was like dude oh oh my god that was so sick Come on, reload reload Back in this day, it was all about who could reload the fastest. <laughs> Whatever's in this chest is worth it. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. They it's got guns, the scoundrels dude. I'm concerned with. Uh, let me go grab some uh, more ammo off of these guys. Fighting is so sick. Yo, hate them as an animal, guys. A straight up animal. A little help, please. I'm gonna hit this guy. Oh, way too far away for the freaking musket. Hop up there and handle them. Got it. All right, let me grab a rifle, make sure it's reloaded. Oh, I'm just some. Thomas Hickey's a little on the beat up Oi. side. Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need.
The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! What? Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. Yo, Tomasiki is a beast. He did pretty well in that fight, to be honest. Yeah, so we got some cards in here. We got a mission up top. Let's head outside. Is the almanac page flying away? There it is. Okay, I lost it. I didn't go fast enough. Okay, so we don't have... I wonder if there's any, like, side missions or anything we can do so far to, like, make more money. Courier mission, courier mi So we got these courier missions over here. Let's see what these do. I wouldn't mind trying to make a little bit more money so we can maybe get some better weapons. Maybe some better robes. More assassin-like. You know what I mean? Yo, what, what is happening? Oh, they're, like, cut-throughs. Oh, okay. I'm just going around delivering letters to these four couriers. Okay, and one more. I wonder if we'll get any money from a decent amount of money from this. No, I don't mind my sword. I think our sword is pretty. I like the combat in this game. It feels a lot more balanced. Um, at least right now, it doesn't. I don't feel as brokenly overpowered as Ezio. Let's deliver this though. Wow! Th look how many enemies are right there. It's literally a whole entire squad. Hey, Swanee, I appreciate you, brother, man. Okay, so we got this one more letter. Let's deliver this really quick. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not even remotely going the right way, dude. What the hell? Look, that's literally a that's a lot of enemies. Will attract attention and slow orphans. So they went ahead and made the annoying the annoying people instead of being like guitar player dudes. They made them kids. So you don't feel that like you'll feel bad if you like rob from them or punch them in the face. <laughs> GG. GG. 
Don't I have a horse? I wonder if I could just take one of the horses that we see around the map. Alright, we're almost done with this courier mission, though. Chris, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. I don't know why, but I really, really am enjoying the setting of this game, like the time period, um, the layout of the city. It's very nice. I don't, and I, it might just because I'm, I'm, I am from America and I'm from the northeastern part of the country. So, um, you, hearing the American names, the like the old American history names, uh, it just resonates. You know, brings up like some like old historical nostalgia that you learned growing up in, you know. American schools and stuff like that. So I don't know if it's maybe just that that vibes better with me. You know, because I was in Italy and uh, all these other places in the previous um, Assassin's Creed games. And, you know, you meet all these historical figures from uh, those times and stuff. But that's not part of my heritage or anything like that. So uh, it didn't resonate the same. But this is pretty dope. Here we go. Last courier. 500. Yeah, we made 500 off of that. Just from delivering some letters. Okay, so it doesn't seem like there's really much to do yet in the in the map. Adam, thank you for the sub. I do appreciate it. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Oh, there's a conversation over here. And uh, we'll probably just do another mission to get the game rolling. I like these little conversations, though. Oh, my bad. Is this the general store? Fernando, thank you so much for the sub. Mm. Yeah, there's Mr. Uh, Benjamin Franklin. Hello again. More almanac pages? Well, not quite. It's a treatise, actually. Oh? Concerning what? The benefits of taking an older woman as a lover. Really? This I'd like to hear. <laughs> what? First and most obvious, they're wiser. And so this makes for far more stimulating conversation. Makes other things more stimulating as well, but more on that in a moment. All right. Your argument for experience makes some sense. Second, when beauty fades, women must improve their utility, lest they be discarded and forgotten. Rare is an old woman who is not also kind, compassionate, and good. That's something of a generalization. But also true. Now, on to the third. Older women cannot conceive, which means one less thing over which to fret. In fact, you also decrease the chance of acquiring something like the French pox, its presence clearly visible, <laughs> or the woman dead. <laughs> and should... One desire, a child? <laughs> then make a young woman your wife. Let the older one be a mistress. And that brings me to my fourth point. With age comes prudence. An older woman is less likely to reveal your indiscretions. Yes. I suppose you know quite a bit about that. And proud of it, thank you. As to the fifth reason, because in every animal that walks upright, the deficiency of the fluids that fill the muscles appears first in the highest part. The face first grows lank and wrinkled, then the neck, then the breast and arms. The lower parts continuing to the last as plump as ever, so that covering all above with a basket and regarding only what is below the girdle, it is impossible of two women to know an old from a young one. 
And as in the dark, all cats are gray. <laughs> the pleasure of corporal enjoyment with an old woman is at least There's equal no way and this frequently superior. Every knack being by practice capable of improvement. You mad bastard. Well, it's true, and believe me, I should know. I've sampled a great many. You should try one as well. Like a fine wine, they only improve with age. Although I suppose if left unattended too long, some have a tendency to sour. And that, my friend, <laughs> is a most unpleasant experience. Better to work in a field often plowed, you know? Is there more? Indeed, indeed. The sixth is this. The sin is less. To take a maiden head is a great responsibility. Mishandled, it can ruin lives. No such risk with an older woman. And this implies the seventh. Younger women are more given to compunction. Anxiety and unease are not present in the more aged and experienced. And as to the last of my reasons, well, it's really quite simple. Older women are so very grateful for the attention. You make a compelling argument, Mr. Franklin. I might just have to run a few tests myself. I highly recommend it. I So well, well now now we know. Now we know why Ben Franklin is on the hundred dollar bill, guys. <laughs> it it brings so much rain in Benjamins. It, it just makes so much <laughs> There's no way that conversation just, there's no way that Benjamin Franklin just tried to teach us about cougar hunting. Is this, did that really happen? Did we just get cougar hunting lessons from Benjamin Franklin? <laughs> that is too funny. That that is too funny, dude. Oh man. He wrote all that stuff down and published bullshit. Bullshit. There's no way. Ooh. Okay, so look at this. So now the store has completely opened up, right? We got normal weapons, um, different types of swords. Yo, there's some really dope swords. So we got a French rapier. Light cavalry saber. That looks sick. Um, hanger sword. That looks sick. French cutlass. Pretty small. Officer's sword. That's a pretty dope sword, too. Washington battle sword. Lincoln's sword. Replica. Um, blunt weapons. So you got the gunstock war club. Wooden war club. Hey, Tom. And, uh, Toke, thank you guys so much for the subs. I do appreciate it. Stonehead War Club. Wow, that, that, that looks pretty dope. And Iron Blade War Club. Small weapons. Assassin Tomahawk. See, uh, we need that. Stone Tomahawk. Iron Tomahawk. Stone Dagger. Yo, some of these are really dope. Dirk. A lot of the stuff is very Native American um, inspired. Some of that stuff, which is pretty cool. I wonder if we're going to have a... Firearms. Okay, here we go. So that's the flintlock we got. Double barrel f pistol. What the fuck is that? Three shots. Uh, French Colt pistol. English flink footlock. Royal pistol. Yo, those look insane. Italian footlock. Royal Navy. Pirate footlock. And the Scottish footlock. Yeah, so this is all different kind of guns. This one has super long range too. Look at that. All right, so we got some new consumables, uh, cartridges, which I am full on, and smoke bombs. 
Citizen mission items. What is this? Ebony uh, hammer handle and a uh, hardened steel hammer head. Outfits. There we go. Ooh, look at that. See? Yeah, that. there's the clothes that we got to unlock. That's how we get our hoods and shit. I don't know how we get it, though. Yo, th those are sick. Yeah, okay, so there's, we're gonna, something's gonna happen. Oh! That's, I don't know what that means, club. Um, Ezio, Altair. So something's probably gonna happen later on in the game and we'll be able to get these Captain Kid's outfit. Yo, that's pretty dope, too. Biax outfit? Edward Kenway's? Arno? Whoa, that shit is dope! All right, yo, there's some really, really, really cool stuff there. All right, let's play the game. Let's play the game. Sorry, guys. Because our clothes right now are not that bad, but they're not that cool either. Man, there's a lot of enemies around. If, if you look, like, there's literally soldiers everywhere. Like, you see that? There's literally a group standing here. You got a huge group patrolling here. Gotta be careful that we don't piss anybody off. Guys, and I want to thank you all for almost 300 likes on the stream. That is awesome. I really do appreciate it. Here we go. Evening, gentlemen. Uh, Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow in you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! How fares the search? Maths and maps are not cutting it. What of your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <clears throat> I have oh. an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? It's up a motor button no. in this game. Is that Benjamin like something you used to really like He's doing back in the day? Fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. <laughs> That's the second bout of motorboat and we've already seen thus far. It must just have been a popular... Uh, thing to do back in the day. Hey, okay, here we let's see what's going on. Damn, how you gonna knock him and just try to go in? Don't don't kick it down, dude. Wonderful. Savages. Hey, the music. Thank you so much for the sub. Charles. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Seems like we're not the only ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, he could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Come. I'll show you how. Game Boy, thank you for the sub. All right, let's see here. Um, so eavesdrop on Ben Church's neighbors while hidden. So. George Washington. Should we write his family, do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. But if you could have seen it, they were surely drunk carrying on like that, and during the day, no less. For the good of all souls. Once this field meter becomes red, they'll start to investigate. Okay, well, I didn't want to stand right here. I'll move between the two civilians to blend in with them. Okay. Such scandalous behavior from one who aims to be a surgeon. Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place of ill repute. Citizens of Massachusetts Bay, the French take Fort Necessity in the colony of Pennsylvania. Ground forces are obliged to surrender. Start questioning those on the street. I'm headed for hire. For your very best in firearms, you need but stop at one expedient location. Murray's has all patterns in stock. The Boston. Thirty-nine point nine. Hey guys, think almost forty thousand subscribers. I can't believe this is even happening. That's crazy. And I, I, I literally have every single one of you guys to thank for that. That, that's honestly more than I ever thought would happen. You know. I never thought we would see 1K, let alone... Oh, there it is. They did a really good job with the world in this one. It's feel it's very very nice feel. Beautiful. We're going to climb this church here. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. There it is, the Assassin's Leap of Faith, baby! That was our first one all game. Okay, so we got another group here we can eavesdrop on. Let's see, is there somewhere where I can hide? I wonder if I can blend in at the uh, at the food cart here. The area's definitely yep. suffered a decline in character. Indeed, 
All manner of Arifs and natty lads. Dagon, thank walking. you so much. And show, Why thank you so much for the subs, guys. I, I really do appreciate it. It was down by the church. A so Odin. men comes rushing through when one of them suddenly falls to the ground, all torn up. I thought about going to see if he needed help, but a look from one of them changed my mind. Probably for the best. Those aren't the sort of people you want to get mixed up with. Okay. So we're just kind of eavesdropping right now, trying to hone in on uh, the church's locate. Well, church. Okay, so we got some soldiers here, blending on the bench. I've asked the priors, but they all plead ignorance. Look at that! They're lying. Aye. Well, what can I do? Threats light off them, and I'll not deign to grovel. Actions speak louder than words, my friend. Arrest one and put him in stocks. See if he's so glib then. To do so without cause will set them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. And forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. If the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. <laughs> Shinda said they don't speak like a British. Can I punch him in his face? Bitch. Give me your money then. Yo, they made uh, pickpocketing a little harder too. <clears throat> you can't just bump into people. There is this to charge, but one way or another, the debt will be set. The man, he's green times ahead. Oh, what you think they're planning? All I know is it can't be good. Probably looking for a nice, quiet place to do the deed. From what I hear tell, his work usually involves quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat tomorrow. <laughs> Good call, that. See, Charles? We'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you are raised in the manner that I was. See, Charles is fundamental in order. <clears throat> it guides the feet when running and climbing, informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. So are we, we're, we're like literally training Charles to be an assassin. We'll make we'll make an assassin out of him yet. All right, come on, bud. Charles like, sir, where did you learn all of this? Bloody hell, mate. Grow up in them streets of London. Bug off, mate. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. Hmm. I said London all wrong. I didn't know there was a special way to say London. 
Oh, okay, so we're getting a little close there. <sighs> Probably from the rooftops would be our best bet on infiltrating. Check around this backside, see what's over here. So it looks like there's a, a, one of them giant squads patrolling right there. So let's get up high ground. Okay, so we got to make it over there. I don't see anybody on the rooftops over here. <clears throat> All right, Charles, you got to move, brother. Listen, you're in. Okay, or do that. That's cool. Getting all nice and sneaky, sneaky right here. Find the key. Wait here. Hmm. Well, standing near a target. Yeah, so we know how to pickpocket. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to get to him, though? Each of these guards has, like, another guard watching their back. There is somebody up top there, it looks like, though. I might be able to get to him. All right, yeah. Guy over here is patrolling. Oof. Cross over on this side. Oh shit, nice, dude. messed up. Oh, what's up, dude? Give me my gun of awesomeness. What? Who the hell are these guys? let him kill me because that, that didn't go smooth. Just end it. There it is. Just end it. End it! Yo, who the hell were those dudes? Yo, they were like super ninjas. Okay, so that, that could have went a lot smoother. Um... They must have been, uh, they're like special forces British soldiers or something like that, trained in the art of counter assassinry. It's the only, only thing that makes sense. Marcos, thank you for the sub.
Yo! From around the corner, dude. That was pretty dope. Being able to um, knock him out from around the corner. We didn't have to kill anybody. We just had to, you know, put him to sleep. Now that was a lot smoother. Well, I wanted to do it um, without causing too much Here of a stir. Are, That's the thing about being an assassin. It's about being getting the job done and Why must you always make stirring these up the least so amount of difficult, difficult issues. Merely provide me with recompense, and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very gutch. Now, what shall we do about our guest? Maybe. I'll take his hands. Put an end to his surgery. Maybe. I'll take his tongue. Put an end to his waggling. Oh, his waggling, mate. Or maybe. I'll take his cock. Ooh! Put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly Them Brits decide. don't play? Take all three. No, no, hold a moment. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll regret this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. <gasps> Quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared. I don't think we can do the double here. assassination, Maybe right? From there. Make myself a nice keepsake, I will. You're absolutely mad. Just like all good artists. I know I've seen a thing about whistling. Covenant's dirt, cutter. I'm proud of it. Maybe you'll get lucky and oh, pass fuck, out. both of them are coming. Though I dare say I'll do my best to ensure that doesn't happen. Your parents might... Oh, shit! I just killed... I killed... I killed... <laughs> I killed Charles, guys. Quick little swipe and no more ears. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your mean crap. A little bit from here, <laughs> a little bit from there. That's a nice keepsake, I will. You're absolutely mad. Just like all good artists. Your parents must be so very proud to have raised a specimen like yourself. Quiet now. I need to concentrate on me work. Cutter, listen, you were talking like a badass, dude, but you kind of... That's what happens when you go up Who against a real you? assassin. Nathan Kenway, at your service. I... I don't understand. Why are you here? Uh, walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. I assassinated the shit out of Charles, guys. I didn't mean it. I don't even know how it happened, but it happened. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. 
A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, Ooh. more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitcairn's our man. I'll take you to him. So we're like building up our order right now. State your business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on then. How'd you manage that? Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. Yeah, look at all these cannons. You fool! Your acts are treacherous. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal. And you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. Well, You'll not have him. And uh, listen to the reason. With the 13 We're done months, here. Thank See these so gentlemen much. out. I am doing all right. Yo, you ain't trying to hear it, dude. Well, that didn't go as I expected. And to think I used to call him brother. What now? They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. As luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? <laughs> You'll see. Now, when I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. Dude, they even got the drummer, dude. There will be a meeting of Never the understood that. This Friday, Wait, Rob Stein Marlborough. No. Its residents are too content. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrived are often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. I couldn't even imagine how hot now. those uniforms are. Oh, 
Oi! You thieves and scoundrels, one and all! Fire on you and your false war! <laughs> he just throws shit at him? After him! This sh threw shit at the general? Unhand him, Edward. Ah, oh, you again. Let us go. And John Pitt can with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. Is this how you want to do it, bro? Hmm. Give my gun a... There it is! Oh, oh, I thought I was gonna get the gun. Ah! Yeah, we're in Boston right now. I stay my hand today because you were once my brother. And a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again? All debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on, then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself lying... I assume broken, you've good reason for causing all this madness. Some what is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. Yeah, the same location as Fallout 4. <laughs> If I may, I was curious about your past with Braddock. You two clearly have a history. Edward was one of us upon a time, and I considered him a close friend. He was brave and bold in ways few men are. But everything changed at the siege of Bergen op Zoom. We had lost the fortress to the French, and were in the midst of egress. There was a skiff hidden at the port with which we planned to make our escape. As we drew near, a young man and his family came upon us. Begging for safe passage. I consented. But Edward refused. The young man called him Craven then. So Edward killed him and all the rest. Even the children. What? To this day, I don't know why. Was this the first time he'd struck out? Or had I simply never seen it before? Either way, things were never the same after that. We campaigned together a few more times, but each outing was more disturbing than the last. He killed and killed. Enemy or ally, civilian or soldier, guilty or innocent. It mattered not. If he perceived one to be an obstacle, they died. He maintained that violence was a more efficient solution. It became his mantra. And it broke my heart. I had no idea. He hides it well, and intimidates into silence any who discover him. Those who persist have a tendency to find... misfortune. And we should stop him. I suppose you're right. But I maintain a foolish hope that he might yet be saved and brought back round to reason. I know, I know. It's a silly thing. To believe that one so drenched in death might suddenly change. I'm sorry to have brought us up. It was not my intent to sour you. Nonsense. We are brothers now. There should be no secrets between us. You ready to chop off those fingers, boys? 
So, a question for you. Why medicine? I'm supposed to tell you I care for my fellow man, right? That I chose this path because it allows me to accomplish a greater good. Are these things not true? Perhaps. But that's not what guided me. Rashid, thank you so much for, for me, the sub. It was a less abstract thing. I like money. Damn. There are other paths to fortune. Aye. But what better where to peddle than life? Nothing else is as precious nor so desperately craved. And no price is too great for the man or woman who fears an abrupt and permanent end. Your words are cruel, Benjamin. But true as well. You took an oath to help people, did you not? I abide the oath which makes no mention of price. I merely require compensation, fair compensation, for my services. And if they lack the required funds? Then there are others who will serve them. Does a baker grant free bread to a beggar? Does the tailor offer a dress to the woman who cannot afford to pay? No. Why should I? You said it yourself. Nothing is more precious than life. These guys seem really, really Indeed. savage. It's like... Well, the more reason one should ensure they have the means to preserve it. Why would we want them in our freaking order of assassins? That doesn't make any sense. But there's a fucking savage. I wonder if they're gonna, like, I don't Gentlemen, know. Gentlemen, I believe I found the solution to our problem. Or rather, Odysseus has. Oh, do you? Are you a new guy? The Greek hero, you lobcock. Allow me to explain. We enter Silas' fort under the pretext of kinship. Once inside, we spring our trap, free the captives, and kill the slaver. <laughs> dodgy, dodgy. There it is. I like it. Then, let us begin. First, we need to find ourselves a convoy. Convoy should be here soon. We'll attack on my signal. Understood, sir. If we time this right, we can catch them all unawares. There we the go. French Commander de <laughs> We gotta stop. We gotta dress more like assassins and less like nobles. Oh shit, here we go. So we're literally about to ambush these dudes. We got three assassins on the ground fighting. Come on, dude, reload. Dude, they're killing everybody before I can even reload. No, 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 I'm gonna assassinate the wrong guy. Yo, look at, they killed everybody. Charles, you and Williams serve as vanguard. Let no man reach us. What about me? You and John will follow from a distance and keep watch over us. I'll signal you when I have need of your services. Who's the Native American lady? We're here to help you, along with those held inside Southgate Fort. Free me. Not until we're inside the gate. 
I can't chance an inspection of the gate going wrong. I'll see you safe. You have my word. See, Haytham seems like a good guy, though. I like him. While expressing sincere Do you know anything of Silas' operation? How many men we might expect? The nature of their defenses? You must be rather important to him if you were given your own escort. So we got two assassins in Sir, front. We got two in the bush over there. there. Shall I engage them? No. Let Jonathan and Thomas take care of it. As you wish. Yeah, so we got assassins all over the place. We got them in the... They're I in the, wish you'd trust there us. There it is. Though I suppose it's only natural for you to be aware. Now you guys see the Brotherhood coming together. So Engage oh, the enemy. Got it. There it is. So you get, it's like, just like, uh, kind of like, um, Brotherhood and Revelations where you can, uh, tell your guys to attack. God damn it, dogs. You in the car. Let no man reach us. Yo, he killed the dog. <laughs> On your guard, man. Hey, come here. Of course. Yo. Only say the word and Insanity. I'll cut them down. Insanity. One moment there. Me and you. Who's your officer? Engage the enemy. These guys are some... Top tier assassins all of a sudden. I mean, I, I guess it is real hard to counter, you know what I mean? Like, they just look like red coats, and then before you know it, you're dead. Boba Fett, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. I had nothing to do with that oh. dog being killed. Evening, gentlemen. State your business. Delivery for Silas. Go on, then. See? I'm freeing you just as I said I would. Now, if you'll allow me to explain... Damn, she gives no fucks, Let her dude. go. But she'll give us away. No, she won't. What's the plan? Free the captives and avoid detection. What of Silas? Nathan. He dies. On a server for Far Cry Primal. I know when you're ready to strike. I'm gonna have to check that out, Nathan. But thank you so much, brother, for the super chat. I do appreciate it. Okay, so find and kill the general. Free the captives undetected. And, oh, I didn't see what the other thing said. Oh, I could blend in with these guys. Nice. Yo, that's sick though, being able to control the assassins like that. It's much it's very, very fluid. Greetings. How fares the watch? Who are you? Thomas Smith, newly recruited. Arrived from London just last week, in fact. And you're to patrol with us? So said Silas. Hmm. I assume it's all rather straightforward. 
Watch for disturbances. Ensure order is maintained. Hmm. Merchandise? You don't know, you don't need to. Just do as you've been told and stay out of our way. Of course. I assume it's quiet here most days? Uh, on occasion we'll catch a smuggler trying to ferry contraband into the city. A small fine and stern warning will just set some right. Hmm. Here we go. So I'm pretty sure the reason why uh, the Asat, like our brotherhood, is trying to get with the Native Americans is because they know the land, and um, they were saying that the uh, the key we found is in Native American origin. So I think that might be why we're going out of our way right now to try to make friends with the natives. But it seems that the natives seem like they'd fit the order fairly well. So I lost my ability to um, call in the assassins right now. It's all good. Might be able to whistle this dude. I don't have any, like, stealth weapons or anything. Hey, Random, thank you so much for the sub. I do appreciate it. All right, so one more group. This doesn't seem like the best way to go. Might have to go across, back across, and see if we can get over there this way. This will be a little better, for sure. Hey, G Dunn, thank you so much for the sub. Let's go. him got him I haven't seen I also haven't been looking but one of the optional objectives is to kill the general might be on the ship here I'm 
of those. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Nothing. Thank you so much for the sub. Might be able to climb up this rope. Spot the general from here. I don't see him on the ship anywhere. I might be able to assassinate this guy when he comes, and then I'll just be able to walk right up behind the other dude. It's a high ass drop. Oh, there it is. How did I don't know how I got spotted, but okay. Must have made a lot of noise when I when I hit the ground. That's the only thing I could think. So we'll do this a little differently. I'm going to try to pull that guy overboard. So what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way around the ship because he, he stands on the edge on the opposite side. We could probably uh, assassinate, pull him in. stops right here. Got him. Nah, I should be able to just walk right up behind this dude. Instead, I'm awakened not ten minutes later by this cacophonous madness. I expect an explanation, and it had best be good. How? How did this happen? My precious merchandise set free! It's unacceptable! Rest assured, I'll have the heads of those responsible. But first, first we clean up this mess.
Seal the fort, kill any who try to escape. I don't care if they be one of us or one of them. To approach the gate is to be made a corpse. Am I understood? Broken bracket, I appreciate you popping in, brother. Push them back. Whoa. Human shield? What? No way, dude. For the order! There's still time for you to flee. So not much. I'll deal with this, sir! No for the order! This is the best option has to offer. Dude, the fighting in this I game is with this, sick, sir. dude. Back road. You shot for the order. Where did you receive your training? Did you receive any training? I'll deal with this, sir. Shield, have a shield! Oh shit! Bro, Isak, thank you so much for the sub. Stop the interloper. Thank He's you, the one responsible. Glad to have Kill him. I could use some help. The order stands united. How did you think this was gonna go, bro? He's the one responsible! Kill him! I'll fill it you like a god. How did you think this was gonna kill go, brother? The intruders! All of them! I'll deal with his friends. He's the one responsible! Kill him! You really thought it was gonna work? Come on. The order no, stands dude. united. Kill the intruders. Oh. All of them. Oh, okay. I'll fill it you like a god. Who are you? Name's Haytham Kenway. You don't know me, but I believe the two of you are well acquainted. I made a promise to you, Cyrus. One I intend to keep. Damn, he didn't even hesitate. We're probably, I wonder, uh, we're probably going to end up turning all the Native Americans into like now? assassins. We wait. But not for very long, I suspect.
It's been several weeks now since we freed the Mohawk prisoners from captivity. I had hoped their leader might make contact, but there's been only silence. My men grow restless. They want to know what comes next. And I do not have an answer. Lee alone remains active, pursuing leads, however slight. He stalks the city streets and scouts the bordering woods, hopeful that he might make contact with one of those we saved. There was a woman there that night. It was she who helped the others to safety. If we can find her, I believe I'll have my answers. So, I watch and wait, hopeful that my true mission might finally begin. Is that snow? You can hear the crunching. Uh. So we've waited quite a while. Obviously, it's winter time. It seems the natives haven't reached out yet. It's the store that is fast travel. Zach, how you doing, brother? Hello, Charles. Any luck finding our mystery woman? Word is she's been stirring up trouble just outside the city in a town called Lexington. Well, then that's where we'll begin our search. I'll meet you there. Of course they had to make it kids. <laughs> well, let's take this horse over here. It's my horse. I'm not stabbing no kids. So what are we riding to Lexington? Yeah, yeah, we're going all the way down. Leaving the city of Boston, I believe. Printer shop.
Damn, that's a lot. A lot of guys here. Am I allowed to pass through? Okay, it's not a restricted area. Okay, here's a bunch of natives. So are we just leaving the... <clears throat> I think we're just leaving the city. I don't know why I got off. Oh, who the hell is that guy? Uh, travel to the frontier, yes. Okay, so now we're in another area. Is that a raccoon? Okay, so there's soldiers out here too. Wasn't there a huge battle in the American Revolution in Lexington? Lepitan, how you doing? There's Charles. Have you found her? Uh, she's made camp not too far from here. Excellent. Well, the sooner we're done, the sooner we can get out of this cold. You know, Charles is becoming our right-hand man. He's, he's definitely becoming very, very useful. I am afraid I have some bad news, sir. Uh oh, I spoke Braddock too soon. Braddock is insisting I return to service under him. I've tried to beg off to no avail. No doubt he's still angry about losing Pitcairn. To say nothing of the shaming we gave him. Do as he asks. In the meantime, I'll work on having you released. I'm sorry for the trouble. Not your fault. No, they actually have snow physics. How old is this game? We're too late. Fire's only just been snuffed. Snow recently disturbed. She's close. 2012, really? Bollocks. Tracks are fresh. It must be hers. Mm. Seems she took to higher ground. Out of the snow and into the trees. Is that a wolf or... Oh. 
Yeah, oh, we're like we're trucking through the snow right now. Yeah, we'll be playing RDR2 tonight. I don't know, guys. I have to say this this Creed game is amazing. Granted, we haven't set up a whole lot of our brotherhood yet, but following this trail. I don't even know if this is the trail I need to be following, but I, I, yeah, I don't understand people saying that it sucked. This game is by far, there's nothing about this game that's bad at all. That's why I'm so confused. Is that her? Wait here. Ooh. <laughs> Thomas, dude. Oh, damn it. Wait. Or Charles. Come back. God damn, Charles messed it up, man. To return to Braddock, Charles, before he grows suspicious. Is she in the fucking tree? I can handle things from here. But so. No, she's in the tree, nothing. dude. Go! Stop running! I only wish to talk! <laughs> Dude, we're trucking through the snow. I am not! Dude, your enemy! Whipping through the trees. Please just hear me out! Bro, I can't keep up. She's Cause, so fast. Woman, only let me speak! There we go. I had to get out that damn Enough snow. Enough of these games! Sick, okay. Majors, uh, you haven't even, I haven't even started the game yet? Dude, I feel like I've started the game, dude. Hold on one sec, Bad Wolf. I'll check and see what you said here in a sec. There it is. You try my patience, woman! There she is. I was like, dude, where the hell'd she go? Can I jump in the tree? Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Touched in the head? Me, Haytham. I come in peace. Why are you speaking so slow? <sighs> Sorry. 
What do you want? Well, your name, for one. I'm Gadzi Zio. Oh, pleased to meet you. God, God's day. Just call me Zio. Dio. Zio. Zio. Now tell me why it is you're here. Where did you get this? From an old friend. I've only seen such markings in one other place. Where? Well, it is forbidden for me to speak of it. I saved your people. Does this mean nothing to you? Look, I am not the enemy. Close to here, there is a hill. Meet me there, and we'll see if you speak the truth. Noble Cayman, what's going on? How you doing, brother? That town hosts soldiers who seek to drive my people from these lands. They're led by a man known as the Bulldog. Edward Braddock. You know him? He is no friend of mine. Every day, more of my people are lost to men like him. Then I suggest we put a stop to it. Together. What do you propose? That we kill Edward Braddock. But first, we have to find him. All right, Bad Wolfie, I'm watching the chat. I'll, I'll, if it pop, anything pops up, I'll deal with it. Oh, what, what the fuck, dude? How am I supposed to keep up with her? She's a freaking ninja. I don't trust you. I know. Yet you remain. That I might prove you wrong. It will not happen. So you say. So I know. Yet? King Blob, thank you so I much remain. for the sub. Uh, so we've played every game up to this point, Tommy. Uh, you know, AC 1, 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations, and now we're on to AC 3. So we're looking for the general. Uh, wait here. A Mohawk man is likely to raise suspicions, if not muskets. This is hardly the first time I've been amongst your people. I can handle myself. Yo, she's a savage. I hope so. Yeah, I'm going to do Liberation, Freedom Cry, Rogue, all, all of them. There. The endless crashing of the waves, the sting of the salt in the eyes, and the goddamn gulls shrieking and shitting everywhere. You're sure that's where we're going? Aye. The Bulldog's putting together another expedition. Well, that's what they're calling them now. Expeditions. Aye. Smart too. Slap a fancy name on something and all evil is excused. You're ready to move on our positions. Wonder what Braddock intends to do about it. He's already left for the advance camp. I'll wager our little holiday here is just about ended. We'll be marching south before week's end. Too easy. Oi! Where are you going, Cully? Me? No, the other cock robin. Well, I, uh, I was leaving. Oh? And now? Well, now... I'm going to feed you your teeth. Yo, hate them doesn't play, dude. And you were worried I was going to be the problem?
You're hurt. Oh, that's nothing. Here. I should stop the bleeding. That wasn't necessary. But thank you. We should move on. Meet me at Braddock's camp when you're ready. So, so far, it seems like in the beginning of the game, at least, there's not a whole lot of, like, side activities you can do. It's pretty straightforward, you know, like, just chipping away at the story. I know, Shirley, we're getting so close, it's crazy. So we gotta we gotta head south or this way. Yep. Almost at the fort. I don't even know if I'm gonna. Yeah, I was gonna say I can't just roll up on the fort. Could have avoided all this by killing the dude before when we had the chance. We literally had our blades. Use a snowstorm to mask your approach. Ooh, okay, nice. Welcome Having second thoughts. Yeah. Hardly. Let me time with the two months. <laughs> I'll have to the fam is good. Carefully. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. Thank you. Go on then. I'll keep watch from here. Do not kill any guards using a weapon. Infiltrate the fort. Okay. Hmm. I can hide in that cart. Well, let's do it. What's in the wagon? I need a full inventory. As you wish. Uh, let's see. Two barrels of salt, 12 pounds of pork, 10 pounds of beef, 7 dozen eggs, 16 wheels of cheese. None of it French, don't worry. Five bottles of whiskey, a couple of dozen new uniforms, boots, and leather for patching, blankets to cart feed for the horses. What else? That's it. That's all there is. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them.
be no truce. Damn it! Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts them at a risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the Bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. I need to find it. Hey, awesome. So it seems like those are the two cannons over there. Let's go see if we can sabotage those real quick. Okay, so we've got an enemy what up top there. Should be clear now. One more down on the bottom here. Can barely see in this damn snowstorm myself. John Fraser died. Who the fuck is John Fraser? Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. What? I, I I don't get what happened. I didn't see anything about John Frazier. And then all of a sudden it's like John Frazier has died. Like what? <laughs> dude, get out of here, dude. Get out of here, John Frazier. I don't want to hear it. There's one cannon down. General Braddock refused the offer. There will be no truce. Damn it. Why, George? What reason did he give? He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. Is that George? The That's George Washington? Retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the Bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. 
So that's need to find it. George Washington. I didn't know George Washington worked with the British. Learn something new every day, don't you? So was George Washington a British soldier? Because it looks like George's uniform is a different color. He wasn't a legitimate red coat. Um, but you see how he's... Damn it, man. I didn't... I, I got caught off guard by the guy coming up from behind me. Uh, he fought in the French and Indian War for the British? I did not know that. Those cannons are like to cause trouble. Perhaps I could sabotage them. So you can't, cr like, you can crouch only when you go into, like, something like this. He'll, like, automatically crouch. But, um, yeah, you can't just, like, crouch on your own. The hell? I just broke the mission path in by getting spotted a little bit. He said a diplomatic solution was no solution at all. That allowing the French to retreat would only delay an inevitable conflict. One in which they'd now have the upper hand. There's merit to those words. As much as I hate to admit it. Still, can't he see this is unwise? It doesn't fit well with me either. We're far from home with our forces divided. Worse, I fear Braddock's bloodlust makes him careless. It puts the men at risk. I'd rather not be delivering grim news to mothers and widows because the bulldog wanted to prove a point. Where is the general now? Rallying the troops. And then it's on to Fort Duquesne, I assume? Eventually. The march north will surely take time. There's a copy of the plans in the command tent should you wish to review them. At least this will be ended soon. I tried, John. I know, my friend. I know. That map will surely be of use. So I was trying to sabotage to that other it. cannon. So I can just escape right now if I if I wanted to. Bitsu, thank you so much for the sub. So there is a guy down near the cannon. See his patrol path. There he is. Got him. 
Do that. Awesome. So we got both cannons down. Um, I should be able to escape the fort right over here on this side. There's only one guard on the gate. I don't believe those two can see me, George Washington and uh, what's his face? Awesome. Made it out. Oh shit, there's deer and rabbits and stuff. No, oh, she's just sitting in the snow. What news? Braddock has left to rally his troops. They're marching on Fort Duquesne. It'll be a while yet till they're ready, which gives us time to form a plan. No need. We will ambush them here near the river. Go and gather your allies. I will do the same. I will send word when it is time to strike. Okay, where, I, I don't have a horse. They just left me stranded in the middle of the woods. Savages. Got to be an English settlement or camp or something around here that has some horses. I, I'm enjoying it uh, more. Yes, I have here so far. I mean, it's very story based right now. There's not a whole lot of free room. Um, that's the only difference I could see between this one and the old other AC games at the moment. But I don't have a horse either. But I mean, they're all, I'd say as of right now, they're all still on par with each other. I wouldn't say this one's like leagues better than like Revelations or Brotherhood or AC2. The combat, I, I do like the combat in this one, though. But I'm pretty sure some of you guys in chat would be like, oh, you're still in the tutorial. <laughs> I'm on the remaster, yep. So you know it would be clutch right now? A horse. Yo, I'm loving the weather, though. This is awesome. Check my weapons list. Oh, right there. What the hell? Why didn't somebody say that sooner? All that suffering. All that walking. You see how chat is? You guys are a bunch of savages. Ugh. Savages. All 
All right, let's gather our men. Five months, dude. What? The cold, cold. That long ground. for an attack? Here, here. Hard at work, I see. How did you? <laughs> it is time. We've set up camp to the north. Meet me there. Gentlemen, let us away. Yo, that took forever to set up. First it was too cold. Now it's too goddamn hot. Now it's the summertime. And humid too, as I ain't swamp, I tell you. Say nothing of the mosquitoes. Warm weather and bugs are soon to be the least of our worries. What? You mean the bulldog? <laughs> Please. We'll be in that one's beef soon enough and on to the next. Hey guys, thank you Where's so much. 450 Lee? likes. That is awesome. Return to finish out his service under Braddock. I imagine the Bulldog's none too pleased after the stunt we pulled. Please to spin a tale of my incompetence and beg forgiveness. He is away with words, especially when it comes to flattery. I expect he'll be welcomed back with open arms. Which would give us a man inside. Precisely. Unless you've underestimated... I see you've been busy. All these men are from many different tribes, united in their desire to see Braddock sent away. The Abenaki, the Lenape, the Shawnee. And you? Who do you stand for? Myself. What would you have me do? Well, you will help the others to prepare. Follow. They come. Everything all right, sir? Just savoring the moment. No doubt, many wonder why it is we've pushed so far west. These are wild lands as yet untamed and unsettled. But it shall not always be so. In time, our holdings will no longer suffice. And that day is closer than you think. We must ensure our people have ample room to grow and further prosper, which means we need more land. The French understand this and endeavor to prevent such growth. They skirt around our territory, erecting forts and forging alliances, awaiting the day they might strangle us with the noose they've built. This must not come to pass. We must sever the cord and send them back. This is why we ride, to offer them one last chance. The French will leave, or they will die. Was, was that George that Washington with him? Wait, to scatter the expedition is not enough. We must ensure that Braddock falls, else he's sure to try again. I'll disguise myself as one of his own and make my way to his side. Your ambush will provide the perfect cover for me to deliver the killing blow. We await your signal. There, in front of us.
kill them! What the fuck? I don't even know what happened. I think I bumped into somebody or something. Here we go. Back in the red. Yo, I think Hatham loves wearing the red coat. Beautiful. I think it was what, our second time wearing it. So our goal here is to just kind of roll right up on him. It's all mud and you, bugs and monsters. The French push hard. back. There'll be a lot of opportunities for us up north. There's a lot of troops here. We got to be careful. Have served, you mean, sir? You are grateful to have served, General. Oh fuck, dude. Edward. Not so fun on the other end of the barrel, is it? Look out! What the hell? Sir. Where are you off to, Edward? What's happening? I was supposed to shoot that exploding thing right there, but my uh... But they're in open combat with somebody. Is that the French? Go. I never took you for a coward, Edward. Come on, then! Oh, George Washington! Such arrogance. I always knew it would be the end of you. Is the end of you. Oh, GW's down! Don't. Before he gets away, I said go. George Washington's a fighter. He's not. He's not going. He's like, nah, dude. I don't deserve this. You're a hypocrite, Hatham. I'm sorry, Edward, but you forced my hand. Hatham. Your death opens a door. It's nothing personal. Well, maybe it is a little personal. Been a pain in my ass after all. But we are brothers in arms. Once, perhaps. No longer. Do you think I've forgotten what you did? All those innocents slaughtered, and for what? does not engender peace to cut your way to resolution. Wrong. 
whether we applied the sword more liberally and more often, the world would be a better place than it is today. In this instance, <clears throat> I am clear. Farewell, Edward. Once part of the Brotherhood, it's done. Now I have upheld my part of the bargain. I expect that you will honor yours. Follow me. No. No! You seem disappointed. I thought that I held a key that would open something here. This room is all there is. I expected more. What do they mean? It tells the story of Yotzitzizu, who came into their world and shaped it for what life might come. She had a hard journey, fraught with great loss and peril. But she believed in her children and what they might achieve. And though she is long gone from the physical world, her eyes still watch over us, her ears still hear our words. Her hands still guide us, and her love still gives us strength. You have shown me great kindness, dear. Thank you. I... I should go. Damn! There it is! That's our inn right there. I know you guys seen the natives jumping from the trees and stuff. Yo, we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna like, we're gonna build the order up big time. A few days later. Master Kenway, did you find it then? It was not the right place. Hmm. The others are waiting for you. Gentlemen, please sit. I fear our temple was no more than a painted cave. Although it did contain precursor images and script, which means we are close. Not close enough, it seems. We need to redouble our efforts and expand our order and establish a permanent base here. Although the site eludes us, I am confident we will find it. Truth. Here, here. Furthermore, I believe it is time we welcome Charles into our fold. He has proven himself a loyal disciple and served unerringly since the day he came to us. He should be able to share in our knowledge and reap all the benefits that such Nothing a gift is true. implies. Everything is permitted, Charles. Are any opposed? Very well. Charles, come, stand. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? 
and all that for which we stand. I do. And never to share our secrets nor divulge the true nature of our work. I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost. I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. Together, we will usher in the dawn of a new world, one defined by purpose and order. Give me your hand. You are a Templar. What? May the Father of Understanding guide us. Whoa, 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 We're not even in a set. We're playing as the bad guys. We're we're Welcome playing the as the bad guys. Wait, what? KSI with the eight months. Thank you so much. You all saw that, right? Wow. Wow, indeed. The key must be the amulet Haytham took from London. We might know what it looks like, but we're no closer to finding it. Desmond, you need to keep going. Hey, he's your ancestor too. Why don't you hop in the Animus? Really? That's your response? It's like dealing with a six-year-old. What is wrong with you, Desmond? You want to know what's wrong? I'm sick of being treated like I'm not even here. Desmond, do this. Desmond, do that. Desmond, you better figure things out because the sun is going to turn us all to ash. And I know I was really nice to you, but actually I'm just another Templar plot twist. And yes, I would like very much for you to be controlled by a magic space wizard so that you can murder me. So there's your answer. I'm sick of being a goddamn pawn. I thought it might be different with you. I mean, you're my father, but turns out you're no better than the fucking Templars. <laughs> Don't you ever equate me to those bastards again. You hear me? Everything I do, everything I have done, has been for you. Maybe I pushed a little too hard, asked a little too much, but try and remember exactly what's at stake here. You need to get it together, kid. We're running out of right. time. Right, that was unusual. Well, I'm just gonna pretend that this never happened and get back to bringing everyone up to speed on where we stand. The news isn't good. It appears this temple is powered by a collection of, um, well, I guess they're batteries. You found one on your way in, but there aren't any more, at least not down here. Any idea on where we can find replacements? Not yet, so I intend to tiptoe into the Abstergo but database. We're playing as a fucking I can cross Templar, guys. These particular devices with their database, then maybe we'll get lucky. We built up the opposite order. See what you can do. Obviously. I wonder if we're gonna like betray anyway, him, Desmond. I, you know, we can either take a look around here, or we can head back to the Animus. It doesn't look like a very comfortable Animus. I'm just saying. All right, here goes. We might, we might betray him. Undan ni zero head stun you. Awira a wa unte yard on jadagun. Tone were nagarate. Desajero ne rot niha. Next yate humayat and a kerda. Azekante a jajerda oni. Next ya o tena de gari wastaque. A gungwe that soon a wahuan nor dunquezi neot nesago de ogunga. Zewajerda sri at dizax ne hatham. Raganerum quaque unte zinito guenu. Next the Ohondo Yoha Witun Yat de Hagonaraque. He gave her a baby in the cave? Templar Alguego Tadinaro Darhox. 
ne on ha at get sonis. The got get soon early on a higunsa gondano, a got gato, the ne saga rascarnex. So are we playing as the mom? That was. Oh, she's hella pregnant, dude. Is it one day star? Hmm. Onisa Jerha. Ya Otana Gwanek. Gwanek. Radunagedu. The what did you do, Nyana? Runajagedu, not the Ratu, the New York Dunis. How was? Next, the dosa is it not gahonda di yahaze? Gahno gadi. Erno is the way. Did you know what stage? Gadi was what gano harenyo tigo yorunyo zawa dakwanya suma. Gana skokso lona Johnny. Yo, this is a what? 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 I, how it is? This is a the quite of a like quite a flip, guys. You know what I mean? To go from like the the beginning, we're playing as a very civilized Londoner on a ship, and then the, the 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 and now we're like playing as like natives. In the like this shit is dope. Hi, star. 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 Hi, Stone villages. When I heard the watch carrits to Dunyane, you go to set to go. Zora go hardu. Of course, I drew the short stick, didn't I? Is it as a dot? I scored Degany on some Gayardi. A hundred? <laughs> Yo, we used to play hide and seek and count to like 10, maybe 20. These dudes count to a hundred. That Native American uh, hide and seek, that's just the real deal. I saw a clue. Oh, there it is. Yonder Negiga. 
Got to know you did that way. What did you hear? Was on the hold that don't tell you how it's in another latoon. What we got that sorry. Found you, bro. Me or Jesus, they're under the foot. Yes, Queenie, on the get up with the wash to the tardy. Yes, Queenie, on the get up with the wash to the tardy. What? No, too easy, little dudes. Yes, the granny on the get the quiz, you watch the dutty. What did you hear was on the hold that don't be how it's in another two men? Did the what carriage are doing? Easy as a yacht away. Oscar, Dagony, Asa, the Yerdy, Wes, Yaya. Zada, Sadegu, Jotu, Oyeri, Oskiwari, Degniwari, Yo, run faster, bro. Eiri Ware, Whiskey Ware, Yaiki Ware, Sadi Ware, Sadegu Ware, Jotu Ware, the Wasa. the fuck? What have we here? Is that Charles? What are they doing? Those are all our peeps. You look Familiar. Where have I seen you before? That wasn't very nice. Let me go! <laughs> Listen to that. He knows English. It's not for a savage. He's spirited too! We have questions for your elders. Only tell us where your village is, boy, and you can go. Best do as he asks, child. I could snap your neck, you know. A little more pressure and pop. The sad little flame of your life extinguished. You are a nothing, a speck of dust. You and all your ilk, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. Charles, the bro, wiser what the among fuck? you recognize the shape of the future. They throw themselves at our feet and beg mercy. But not you, it seems. No. You cling desperately to your ways, too ignorant to know your folly. But I am not unkind. 
And so I spare you, that you may carry word to your people. <laughs> Let them know the sooner we are given what we seek, the sooner you can return to your pathetic, empty lives. A fair trade, is it not? What is your name? <laughs> Charles Lee. Why do you ask? So I can find you. <laughs> I look forward to it. All those dudes that we saved and built up, man, they're all fucking ugh. Yo, the village! Yeah! Why? How how can hate them let this happen? Get inside. How do we get inside, dude? How do we? <coughs> oh, fuck, she's trapped, dude. Go, Igus, go, Igus. I'm the owner right now. Yosto, John. Onak, the Osa Dego. Onak. ジャッジアンデネ。ゾディオノゴオノ。ゼソッテック。ラドナゲドン。オノクティオンザニゴラッサニドハゲ。ドデックドデック。オセデック。トガズンハアク。オセセゲ。ネクティザデリオンダラク
Nekti doni gari was tona yo tunga ge. No na aska gui dene ne. The wasa ga yeri ni hadi runungu e kaa ta huna na dahwa ge. So no na aska na na ge ne. Ta de wat na ne da. Iga gar hagunsu a hundo ratu. Kaa a hunza ge hunda di taru. Gardu ne zosir a aska de wat nyawa na hadi hage. Yates gari was ta yunki aqua daze ge. Sego ino tumne. Ha nekti zaha akta da hone nu haje. Te dun zohun jok na e de wire. To go yaho tena tai de wire, to go yah tai de waderio, to arena zawane. Tokniko hak. Wagarek the giri hunyani of near to the agarato. Tigawanio. To agots yot nakuni. Zaha gusto zeriohage, diniotne oya. Next yah tamdo era ye dene de nikahondake. Yah tadio dun zohun unka go de yander gewahi. Out you geni dogas, ki doga and deni gweni, toya yedenue, ne dosa ya yedini rada, ne ne umzage. I'm gonna fail that. I'm gonna easily, I'm definitely touching the ground. What dirty on that serax on a giga? That's kena gera. Yo, it's so smooth, dude. Yo, it is so smooth. Oh, shit. Wait, what happened? Did I go the wrong way? What, Zook? That shit is so crazy. We're gonna wait for this dude? I went too fast? Oh, I see, I see. Zodzi won dore. Oh, Nio, the Easter is a ha set such to get doga yacha sadat reggae. Next, the only hour and the dog at Jada and the nogi here. Doga oya what the Nakunyanio acta, that can zera. Yo, the free running in this is so smooth. Don't do that. Holy shit, you slid under the log. What got Nigo Roni? Yet the Wakwenu Aguego Yangani Harange. Gone on got their hard days in your Aguego and Seroroge. But the Gon Easter at the Gayeri in Nigo Yanginia. Count for Harige, the Gorungadan on the Otta. 
So I wonder what the feathers are used for. Maybe crafting of some sort? Got those. Where's the next one? Okay, so we got some more over this way we could go get if we want. Now it's actually pretty far away. That's 300 meters. I'll get them later on. So the doing now down go. Hunting lessons. I want to go and drop down the owner. Yeah. Segudia <laughs> Okay, so we're trying to find and skip the other. So there's hunting. I don't know if it's like just for this mission or if like hunting is actually something that you have to do in the game. Oh, you can set snares? Okay, so you can set traps in locations that um, rabbits will generally go to. So we got like this stone hatch. Like our weapons are pretty primitive. Still get the job done, though. Take with our Okay, so that's a little savage. I thought we were just going to shoot it with the bow, but uh, our, our guy here. 
I haven't got his name yet. He has like a, what is it, Kat, Katzen something something? It's a very long name. I didn't even look at the thing, how to pronounce it. Started with a K, though, I think. But yeah, we got to approach and kill this one. So you can bait animals to attract them. Bait. Got that shit. So we got some venison, some deer marrow, uh, and a deer tail, and deer heart. Okay, so we gotta go back to our snares, see if we caught anything there. Boom, awesome. Yama. Dim Jadum Zoni Sego, Nexiate Zugini Nakto de Onexi de Denizaru and Jadora de Toga Idenere Dae de Nocta. Yate Wagderion, Dare. Damn, how much food do we gotta get? Nise. I wonder if we're like a part of the hunting party. Okay, hunt uh, one more type of animal. Combine bait and snares to catch animals. Air assassinate animals. So we don't. Have... Okay, so we got to collect five more things of meat. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can find more snare locations. There's a deer right there. Might just be patient for a second. I might uh throw some bait down. I wanna find a location for some snare traps though. Uh, actually, I'm so glad I didn't... That was about to be a Bambi situation, guys. See a little baby deer there? And that was its mother. <laughs> Fucking deer are really moving, dude.
So there's two animals there. I didn't even know it. So the bow, does, you got to definitely, I think, hit like a critical shot because I hit the, the bow right there. Um, I didn't hit it in the head, but it also didn't kill the deer. I'm not seeing any of those little, like, bait areas. Um, for the for the snares. We only got two more arrows left. We gotta be careful. Oh, you gotta snare the clues? Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I thought the clues were just marking uh, locations of where enemies were. Yo, honestly, the foxes are super easy to get. Okay, yeah, see one of these we can we can snare trap this. Oh, it won't work if you stay by it. See if we find another stock area here. Maybe throw out some bait. Chica, what's going on? How you doing? Right, well, we didn't even have to use the snare. I don't think our snare ever went off. Yeah, never went off. What, dude?
What was he stabbing it with? My man literally left me out in the woods. Aguahua gets on, he get. What's getting y'all got there? Nyawa. I'm the Jatan, the owner. I always see her and I just get who didn't go around on it. Dino Jada, ya ezo de a tien arm. Next yato de yot. Oh, neot. Rat dokawa hagari hunya. Yeah, so we must have been a part of like a hunting party or whatever. Not good to burn fires indoors. Oh, God, there you are. There are these are the way you wash on a jerna dia, car hog, and shed a wetta. On a jerna dia, they are tea a jot, there are near the ne oya ganyoke hog at the water deal. Oh, I was soon dade, don't that dirty what said a quasse. You hunter no runge, you got de nadaya. Danu ne am ha ajun ko deri wayani ne ayeti ase tani sege unjun huza. Ara haja zido ganey gando ayeti ri hune yukiswas saha odi sasta sereyanda ne. Yungwa dora zene to na ya de wayer hage. Yungwa ya do darhe un zino gayera ne de ayeti swa ne da. Danu ne doga to na de wayere yot deru. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. I am going to go to the house. Greetings, Guardian. Are you a spirit? You may think of me as such. Where am I? You are where you were before. If you mean to ask what it is you now see, it is known as the Nexus. From here, probabilities are calculated so that the proper path may be chosen. What path? Yours. Avoid mid-air collisions? Of course. Follow me. I mean, what would I collide with in the middle of the, the random air? What have you done to me? Selected a form familiar to your culture. It is designed to ease navigation. Street. No, 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 no. We have waited millennia for your arrival. I'm gonna hit some shit now. Who will bring to him the last piece that he may open the door. 
I do not understand. Nor need you. I sense my words cause pain. But such was not my intention. You are important, child. In more ways than you will ever know. As we speak, forces gather in secret, preparing to seize control of the land. If they succeed, the sanctuary will be breached. Yours is a special lineage. Past. Present. Future. Many are connected Death Star to moment you. right here. Many who have changed the world. Who will change the world. So too shall you. I have called you here that you might know your duty. You must protect sanctuary from those who would undo our work. What sanctuary? What work? Maintaining your current force will result in a negative outcome. Premature access will destabilize the region. Your village and its people will be destroyed. What am I to do? You will learn of a man who will provide additional training. Seek this symbol. The assassin's no logo? Many questions. Time will see them answered. For now, you must follow. Leading for later. Yeah, it is, Javier. Rodrigo, what's up, brother? Radun Hager, don't got nowhere. Got nowhere, Nisatka, to Tigo, Gari, Wireonits, do. I don't hate Swagena Duni. What guard of the room with Daya Jadatka? I can not do her, sir, or near the Akande. Hm. The tune, Tigaro Nogue, easy not Gahanda de Tunas. Gari was Siva Gadari under it. The no easy gi oni. Arahaja is a dead nigo rizu, ne dosa serivayena. You go our harats tone, I had the wadun hundanuna. Next ye da sherry de neese. They ought to tell you Haja or Hunjage than no ya. Tondo, <laughs> Tonu dagatka tone gari wire the nitsto. Ne egi garun where a hawi or yashniena. So are we going to meet up with an, an assassin? An assassin? Yama. Seria sadoga. Nexi gets honey, so the ezos are hard. Was says a cane gari wire on its do, Satahatsori.
Leaving home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No, it was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who? A fucking lion or a tiger? What the hell is that, dude? Cougar. We're like in the woods, woods, dude. That's. Let's see if we can find a way up over here somewhere. I think maybe we gotta go around. Maybe even gotta go down. Okay, we definitely gotta go down. We have a hunting mission that just popped up. It said a bunch of different animals I had to kill. Shit, 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 shit. What? Why? 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 So I'll take on uh, on large animals. It takes like two shots from a bow to kill them. Ooh. Are those soldiers? Yeah, I can hear the drum. So this must have been like a, a camp because there's weapons here. Shit. Are they going to be like directly hostile towards me? I don't know how this works. Doesn't say I'm like trespassing anywhere, but still, I don't know how they're going to act toward me. Let's try to get up higher on the road here. And they don't seem like they're trying to kill me.
Okay, we gotta get up top here. Somebody said use the horse whistle. I don't. Does he have access to a horse? He doesn't have a horse. Well, yeah, I didn't think I unlocked Torch. That's why I was just running. Okay, so we're going to be leaving the frontier. wonder if we're going back to the Boston area. Get out of the way. After him. What the hell? So there's like the frontier here where and then there was um Boston. Leavesport Homestead. Okay, so this is a whole nother area. Seems like there's quite a few different areas in this game, which is awesome. If I can make okay, yep, there's a Oh, there we go. Now we got a horse. Not anymore, dude. Not anymore, dude. Hello. Hello. You must be one of them native fellas eh, from the, uh, what's it called? The Iroquois tribe. Hi. You from that? Of course not, Terry. Iroquois ain't a tribe. Is so. Is not. The Iroquois is a confederation. Just give it a few days. Return to the wounded, resupply, and come up with a plan. I've sent Enoch to scout the place, figure out the best way in. You hear him before? Poachers? Saying he has no master but himself? What a load of fee fa fum If he ain't no master, guess he's ours to do it as we please. Indeed. All in good time. That's a nice house. <gasps> sure this is the right place? I don't see any assassin symbol. I am Caspi. I want to thank you all for over 500 likes on the stream also. Thank you so much. What? Um, I, I was told you could train me. No. Go away. I'm not leaving.
He just straight up said no. <laughs> Not doing it. I need a place to camp. This should do. We're just gonna we're just gonna live on this dude's property. We don't care what he says. Is that what she, the old lady gave us? She just gave us a, a, a bed? the next day. Must be another way in. Please, all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! Coming up! Well, we gotta be careful, man. We don't know who the hell this dude is. We can't just be doing whatever the hell we want. I mean, Connor can climb anything, dude. Leotis, thank you so much for the sub. Just hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. Oh, man, he was beat us up with a cane, bro. Or you might dream of being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course. And the only thing you're gonna be is dead. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Well, Just wait, old man. There's that. There is that. I will not be defeated so easily. <gasps> These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. My dog, thank you so much for the sub. Best cut for something bad happens. Oh, no. Can't say we didn't warn ya. Boy, brothers! Holy shit, okay. Oh, 
Oh shit! You're only making things worse. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss man. Ugh. Oh, fuck, dude. You working for the old man, then? That it? Old Maybe man's definitely an assassin. Talking. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Yo, know, the combat in this game is a lot. I like it because it's not as OP as it was in like when you play Brotherhood and Revelations. AC2 was it, it was a little more balanced, uh, but Brotherhood and Revelations, it, it was literally just you just spam the same button over and over and over again, and you could just kill an endless amount of dudes. And this one, you still have to like time it because if you just hit it, um, you'll you'll only block. So you still gotta time it. Um, but that one thing right there where they came at me with the bayonet and I was able to like misdirect it and have them stab the other dude, that was really cool. Oh, there's that. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Rado Hangado. Well, okay. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that... that These I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I've something to show you. Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? I mean, I can barely the walk. Point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me. You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? I'm so naive. This way. Split this game is amazing. Huh. A 
don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin? I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. I wonder if that was his old cloak. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You oh, are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind living in the dirt like Yeah, that's really cool, though. Um, to the true ways so we have world. to assess. I'm pretty sure our targets are going to be all the what guys the on the board there. Want? What they've always wanted. And control. You get to set it up. See an opportunity and now we're on the other side tearing it back down. That's beginnings. pretty cool. Unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they backed the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs. A people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. You know, that epic loading screen. Yeah, that, that, that that's the one thing I do like about the, the game so far is, you, you know, you start off and, you know, it's the hidden blade that kind of threw me off when you're playing as, um, what the hell was his name? Uh, yeah, I already forgot his name. What's that? Uh, Jesus Christ, brain fart. Yeah, the loading, the loading is savage right now. Um, but yeah, it was the, th it was, uh, yeah, Hatham. I, I kept wanting to say Hamlet. <laughs> My brain was just like Hamlet, and I'm like, that's, that's not that name. Um, but yeah, the hidden blade threw me off, because, you know, you start off with an assassination, and then, uh, it really does put you in the place where you think like, oh yeah, you know, and then you go, you're building up the order and like they keep talking about it, and then I didn't, I never even imagined they would put us in a place of a Templar. You know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense. Well, the game's not frozen. Um, do this. See if this maybe works. There we go. I thought the game froze, but I think it might have just been a little weirdness. There we go. But I think we will end it here, guys, um, before we start our journey. Uh, into the next chapter we've been going for quite a while so we will end this here and if you guys want to see more of this quick hey make sure you smash that like button it's the easiest way to let me know that you guys are enjoying this and want to see more of it um i absolutely love this one um i haven't seen enough of it to compare it to the others but i would say so far the time period the gunplay like the whole combat system um 
the story and all, I, I, I'm, I'm really, really feeling it. Like, I'm definitely feeling it. Um, obviously, it's a newer game, so I feel it's a little more fleshed out than the older games. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what it has to offer. We will definitely see what it has to offer. But uh, so far, I am, I am really enjoying it. Definitely really enjoying it. So give me a little bit, guys. We will be doing some Red Dead here in a little bit. So hopefully I'll see a bunch of you guys over there. But again, if you haven't, hey, smash that like button on your way out. If you're new to the channel, hey, consider subscribing. It really does help out. We are almost to 40,000 subscribers, which is crazy. Um, but thank you all again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.